Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, we will continue to, to the power k factorial design. In last lecture, you have seen 2 to the power 2 factorial design. In this lecture, we will see 2 to the power 3 factorial design. So, what have you seen in 2 to the power 2 factorial design? We have considered two factors A with two labels, B with two labels. And then if A and B both have two labels, then we got four treatment combinations for A minus plus B minus plus or minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 which we have said low high low and high and this is one factorial factorial points this is another factorial points another factorial points another factorial points and from there we have seen the this is basically the geometric view. From there we have seen the design matrix where we have written A and B and A B and our runs are experimental runs and then we have given some notation for this point is 1, this point is A, this point is B and this point A B. So, when A is minus, B is minus, this notation actually we say that total of Y, this is given as 1. And then when this one plus 1, this one minus 1, this is given as A. Then when this is minus 1, this is plus 1, this one termed as B. And this is plus 1, this also plus 1, this is termed as A B. So, this four treatment combination. And the interaction A B we found out by multiplying A column versus B column. If you multiply these two, this will be plus, minus plus, plus minus minus, minus plus minus plus plus plus. So, the design matrix when we say we write basically here minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1. Okay. And then we have computed that A effect which we said that A plus y bar when a is plus minus y bar when a is at minus level irrespective of the position of b factor. Similarly, b effect we have computed y, y bar b plus minus y bar b minus and the a b interaction we have computed when we say that average of y when a b both same level minus y bar of a b at different level. This one we have seen and we have said another thing that the contrast contrast c when a particular column is multiplied by the, the total column then you will get the contrast. So, for c a the contrast will be will be minus 1 
प्लस वन माइनस वन प्लस वन दिस टाइम्स वन ए बी ए बी यू विल गेट दिस वन एज माइनस वन प्लस ए माइनस बी प्लस ए बी हुईच इज बेसिकली ए बी प्लस ए माइनस बी माइनस वन दिस इज योर कंट्रास्ट ऑफ ए सिमिलरली कंट्रास्ट ऑफ कंट्रास्ट ऑफ बी सी बी एंड कंट्रास्ट ऑफ ए बी ऑल दोज थिंग्स कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड by multiplying the respect the dot product of these two this column vis a vis this column this column vis a vis this column dot product will give you contrast b this vis a vis this will give you contrast c and once you know the contrast c that meaning you will see that this this how to compute the a effect b effect ab effect those things we have discussed today we will we will see the same thing for 2 to the power 3 factorial design okay so in this class what we will see we see that what are the what is statistical analysis of two to the power design then we will go for two to the power k general design okay and the lecture is prepared based on chapter 6 of design analysis of experiment written by dc montgomery you see this is a very important slide when we have three factors each at two levels you will be getting a cube like demonstration the geometric view you will become a cube and then from here how do you get this design matrix abc that i will discuss first now you see the so see this one the cube this is a point represented by within bracket 1 that mean this is a point where all three are at low level this is a point which is represented by a that mean a this point is that point where the factor a is at high level and other two factors at low level this is a point this point is represented by b that mean factor b at high level factor a and c at low level this is point represented by c this is the factor Where C is at high level and others are low level. Now this is the point where A B, that means A and B are at same level, A at high level and B at high level. Okay. So similarly B C, similarly A B C. Okay. So how are you drawing? First is you just think of that this axis is C. This axis is A, and there is another axis okay. So this one is one. That means A A, A minus B at minus C at minus low level. This is your A, means A at plus, B at minus, C at minus. This one is B, where B at plus, rest minus. This is A B, so A and B at plus level, C minus level. So similarly, this one is C, and so if it is if it is c it is b this is bc then what happened this one a and this is c this one is ac and this one is abc here what happened a b and c all at plus level high levels here b and c at plus level means high level here only c at plus at plus level means c at high level rest are at low levels so this is your geometric view now from this geometric view to we want to go to design matrix so in the design matrix there will be row wise runs how many runs will be there 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 runs so 1 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एट रन एंड सपोज इफ आई से रन आई एंड देन कॉलम विल बी देर बी कॉलम द कॉलम रिप्रेजेंट द फैक्टर्स वॉट आर दो फैक्टर्स फैक्टर ए फैक्टर बी फैक्टर सी सो वी वॉन्ट टू पुट वी वॉन्ट टू पुट एगेंस्ट इच ऑफ द रान व्हाट इज द व्हाट इज आवर प्लस माइनस साइन दिस वन वी विल यूज ए फॉर्मूला कॉल द जेत कॉलम जेत कॉलम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ए मीन्स ए बी सी फॉर द फॉर द फैक्टर्स जेत कॉलम फॉर द फैक्टर विल हैव टू द पावर जे माइनस वन टू द पावर जे माइनस वन माइनस वन फॉलोड बाई टू द पावर जे माइनस वन प्लस वन सो वी स्टार्ट विथ टू द पावर जे माइनस वन एंड देन then what happened this plus minus will be there suppose if i say this is my first column this is my second column this is my third column so how many plus minus the repetition will be there 2 to the power j minus 1 equal to 2 to the power 1 minus 1 equal to 2 to the power 0 equal to 1 so 1 minus followed by 1 plus you repeat this For the second column, it will be two to the power two minus one so equal to two. So two minus followed by two plus. What will be the third one? Two to the power three minus one basically four. So four minus by four plus. This will be the repetition. Okay. So this matrix is known as design matrix. so now if i want is if i have the total of y here so y total so this is one means the all observation so this at low so it is one so i'll use another color so this is one now at the second run a is at high so this will be and b c at low level a third one b at high other two at low so b fourth one ab at high c at low that's why ab fifth one c at high other sir low c sixth one ac at high level positive and b at low ac seventh one bc at high level a at low level so it is bc eighth one all three are at high level apish okay so one and one b c these are basically representing the combinations other hand also this will be represented by the total what is observed at that treatment combination with reference to the y okay so this is what is known as from geometric view to our the design matrix now what i will show you i will show you another important table which is known as the how do the estimating the effect and ss and contrast for different fact effects factorial effects i have told you in fact we have discussed earlier that if there are three factors a b c then the main effects will be 3 a b and c 2 oa interaction effect will be ab ac bc and 3 oa interaction will be ab c so essentially we require knowing now in order to estimate the effect abc ab ac bc abc as well as the sum square contribution of all those effects 
we require to find out con on a concept called contrast. So, that means, we require to have contrast for A, contrast for B, contrast for C, similarly A B, A C, B C and A B C. So, in order to get this, we use a table of algebraic signs. What is this algebraic sign? This one. First, we will write down the treatment combination and this also will be represented later by the total treatment combination. If you find C, you will get how many treatment combination? <coughs> First is all low. A at high, B at high, A B both at high, C at high, A C at high, B C at high and A B C at high. And what is the what is the uh, the general rule? You you find out A B C from the design matrix, what you found out minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus this is for a for b minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus for c minus 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 plus 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 now what you require when a b is there you insert a b here so i use another color so a b here so, what will be a b a column multiplied by this. So, this is plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 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 1 minus minus plus 1 my plus minus minus 1 minus plus minus 1 plus plus 1. So, see what happened what is happening here if you see the column a how many minus there are 4 minus 4 plus. So, equal equal number of equal number of minus and plus now go to b the same so here it is basically four number of minus and four number of plus we have eight runs treatment combination now that will happen to ab also you see plus 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 so 4 plus 4 minus for C also 4 plus 4 minus. So, once you multiplied A and B you will be getting A B column. Now, you want to find out A C column, you want to find out B C column and what more you want to find out A B C column. How do you find out A C? Multiplied A versus C. So, minus minus plus plus minus 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 plus plus minus 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 plus minus plus 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 minus plus minus plus 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 1 2 3 4 the checkpoint is equal number of plus and minus. So, find out B C. So, B C you multiplied B column versus C column minus minus plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus minus 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 plus minus minus plus minus plus 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 now if you want to <coughs> get the c a b c so take any one suppose b c into a so minus plus minus plus 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 minus minus plus plus minus 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 plus plus minus 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 plus minus plus 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 1 2 3 4 ok. So, this is what is your algebraic signs algebraic signs and and this one the treatment combination column this also give you the y total this one basically the total of y when all are that also. So, if you want to get contrast C A you multiplied these two take dot product of these two column how you just put minus 1 plus 1 all put 1 here. So, 1 1 1 1 minus minus 1 1 
like this so if you ask uh, that what is then contrast for a it will be just a b c plus a c plus a b plus a minus minus u c what will happen minus b c minus a c b c minus not a c b c minus c minus sorry this is a b c plus this is plus a c plus so a b plus then a plus so what is remaining b c <coughs> b c minus then c minus b minus so you write b here here also you write c then minus 1 so this is the contrast for a now if you want to know the contrast for a b c this effect. So, that means, this will be minus 1 plus a plus b minus c a b this one minus a b plus c minus a c minus b c plus a b c. So, I can write like this a b c plus plus a plus b plus c minus a b minus b c minus a c minus 1. This is contrast for a b c. Similarly, contrast for other thing also you can find out. Okay. Now, the some of the basic or interesting thing about this matrix is there is one matrix here which is known as i. Okay. So, in this particular diagram we can add i matrix sorry i column where everything will be 1 here all 8 of the rows will contain 1. This is known as identity element this is known as identity element. Okay. And this one is used to find out the grand total to find out the grand total. How? If you multiplied i versus this matrix, this 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 column versus this column in this matrix. So, if you take the dot product, what will happen? You will take sum of all those values 1 a all those things. Earlier I said 1 represent the total of all y values when experiment is conducted at this setting a at for a setting like this. So, that means, sum of all those things will give you the grand total. Okay. So, again I told you that first one is this, second one is that each column contains equal number of plus and minus except column 1 this we have discussed the product of any two columns yield another column a and b when you multiply it, it gives you a b column. If you multiply a and c you will get a c column. Similarly, if you multiply a b and c you will be getting a b c column. Suppose you multiply a b with a what you will get? You will get b column a b a a into a a square when you make this column square all will be positive. So, only b column will remain then. So, that is why any two column if you merge you will get another if you multiply if you will get another column. The fourth one is the sum of product of the signs in any column is 0 obviously, as there are equal number of positive and negative signs. So, when you sum up they will give you the 0 value and this is orthogonal design. Okay. So, if you just you take dot product of this and this what you will get. Suppose, let me take the dot product of the first column a 
a is minus 1 plus 1. So, minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. What is this is my a? If I take the dot product with the b 1 minus 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 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1, then minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is my b column minus plus minus b is minus minus all those things. If you multiply this, what you are getting? This into this is 1, okay. Then this into this, this is minus, this is minus, this mi this into this plus 1, this into this minus 1. So, this into this minus 1, this into this plus 1. So, like this, you will be getting equal number of plus and minus and finally, it will be 0. And he said that if you multiply the two column, the you will get another column. So, sum of this will lead to 0. So, this is orthogonal. So, now once you have this, then you have the contrast, you can find out the effect. So, effect will be effect equal to if I say let let C equal to contrast. Now, C A is contrast A, C B is contrast B like this, then you are getting contrast by multiplying the treatment column into the respective column, then effect will be contrast square sorry contrast not squares contrast divided by 2 to the power k minus 1 into n, where k is number of factors considered. If k equal to 3, then effect equal to c by 2 to the power 3 minus 2 means 4 n. So, similarly, sum squares will be contrast square divided by 2 to the power k into n. So, for 3, for k equal to 3, it will be s s will be c square by 8 n. Now, you already have seen how what are the contrast values. So, you will be able to compute effect as well as S s. Okay. So, this is what is given in this slide effect is this like this. So, now main effect A, A contrast is A B C A A plus A B plus A C plus A B C minus 1 minus B minus C minus B C. So, this will be when divided by 4 n. So, it will give you main effect A, similarly main effect B, similarly main effect C. So, this this the computation the physical meaning is known to you, we have discussed earlier. Now, here we have say, said that once you have the matrix representing the algebraic signs of the effects, you will be able to find out the contrast. Now, when you, you, find, you divide contrast by appropriate quantity like here 4 n when it is a 3 factor case, if it is k factor case 2 to the power k minus 1 into n, then you will be getting the effect. So, A effect will be computed using this formula, B this formula, C this formula. Similarly, A B will be computed using this formula, A C will be computed using this formula, B C using this formula and A B C using this formula. So, it is easy one, you, you know that I have already explained how it is to be done. So, now, so then what will be the case for general 2 to the power k factorial design? For general design, so general 2 to, 2 to the power k factorial design. So, how do estimate the contrast? So, contrast will be, so there are k number of factors. So, contrast a b c dot 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 k if I say k factor, this will be a plus minus 1, b plus minus 1, c plus minus 1 dot 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 then ultimately k plus minus 1. So, and then that huge here the huge minus 1 if the effect is included is included and use plus 1 if the effect is excluded. 
what does it mean? The meaning is that suppose I have three factors A, B, C, then I want to know the contrast for A, then what I will write? I write A minus 1 because I, I have included A here and B plus 1 and C plus 1 because B and C are not included here in the contrast calculation. So, this once you 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 multiply and take the you will find out this will be A B C plus A B plus A C plus A minus B minus C minus B C minus 1 it will be this one this is what you have seen earlier also. Suppose, if you are interested to know A B C then here all A B C included. So, A plus sorry A minus 1 B minus 1 and C minus 1 this will give you the desired contrast. C A B case so A minus included so A minus 1 B included B minus 1 C not included C plus 1 this will give you the general contrast and then effect effect will be as I told you the contrast divided by 2 to the power k minus 1 into n and S s will be contrast divided by 2 to the power k into n. So, you will be able to find out contrast and all those things and then the general ANOVA table will be like this all sources of variation main effect interaction effect and then their sum square and degrees of freedom will be always 1 because there are 2 levels for each factor. So, for A, B, C, A, B, B, C all they will be only 1 degrees of freedom. Okay. So, <coughs> as a result <coughs> as a result what will happen I will explain as a you are <coughs> suppose 3 factors A, B, A, B, C, a C B C A B C. So, A having so what is the degree of freedom now? A having 2 labels, so 2 minus 1 degree of freedom will be 1, B 1, A B A minus 1, B minus 1, 1 into 1, 1, C 1, same way it is 1, this also 1, A minus 1, B minus 1, C minus 1, all multiplication this will be 1. So, okay. so suppose you your to <coughs> then error, then total. Suppose you have 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 settings n replications, then what happened 8 n minus 1 will be here the total degrees of freedom, error degrees of freedom will be this by subtraction. Okay. So, that we will find out. Now, let us see one, see one example. Here <coughs> 2 to the power 3 design A B C, so the same nomenclature we have used here and there are 3 replicates and this total is represented by the sum of these 3 will give you 950 this is the data. Now, we will see how we have computed contrast and all those things here this total I have written here. Now, a column plus minus sign this minus 1 plus 1 is this when you multiply this by this dot product if you make you get this one when you take sum of all those things you are getting contrast. Similarly, for sum of this will give you contrast B, sum of this will give you contrast C. Once you have contrast, then you find out the effect, effect is contrast by by what 2 to the power that means here 4 n. So, what is n equal to 3, 4 into 3, 12. So, 1027 by 12 is this, 299 by 12 is this, 1036 by this. Then what will be S S? S S will be contrast square by 8 n 8 into 3 24. So, 1027 square by 24 is this 299 square by 24 is this and this square by 24 is this. So, this is a, a b c in the same manner a b a c b c a b c. So, a b c column is in the design mat uh, algebraic matrix is this then the totals are like this. So, multiplying the two you are getting this and contrast will be sum of this you are getting contrast everywhere you are getting effect you are getting S S. So, I have shown you how using contrast you will be able to find out all the effects all the S S refer with reference to the main effects 
with reference to two way interactions with reference to three way interactions. Once you have all those things calculation you compute now the ANOVA table. So, ANOVA table sources of variation there will be 7 sources or 8 sources of variation including error. Now, first one what is the SS? SS is 439.7.04. So, 439.7.04 in the same manner all SS you write down and what is the degrees of freedom for total there are 24 observation degree of freedom is 23. How many degrees are lost for the model parameter 7 each having 1 degree of freedom. So, 7 degree lost for this. So, how many remaining for error 23 minus 7 is 16. Then find out mean square. So, here in fact for the model parameters some square and mean square will become same because they are is only 1 degree of freedom, but error mean square will be reduced because there are substantial degrees of freedom available for error. And then find out the F 0, F 0 is nothing but mean square uh, that source or the effect by the mean square error. For example, that F 0 for uh, A is 43947 this value divided by this value will give you 3.04 in the same manner you see. So, now what happened you see the uh, table now we have considered 0 0.10 alpha value and 1 16. So, this value is 3.05 interestingly this is the value which will be compared for all the tabulated F 0 because all the model parameters have 1 degree of freedom and all model parameters are compared with error with 16 degrees of freedom here. Now, you see that A, C and A, B, C these are significant with reference to F 0 although A value is 3.04 which is slightly less than 3.05 under such situation it is better to include this into the model or keep this as a significant variable. So, then <coughs> how many uh, we have all those things. So, as A B uh, significant A and C significant. So, they are interaction A C also we should keep in addition A B C is significant. So, what happened? So, we are also keeping B for further analysis because B uh, C, uh, uh, interaction is also there. So, that is why in we want to find out the response surface keeping beta 0 that is the intercept beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 and beta 1, 2, 3 because this is what is the interaction significant. It is a peculiar example data the reason is that the second order interaction are not significant, but third order interaction become uh, 1, 2, 3 beta 1, 2, 3 become significant it may be due to uh, the, the way we have generated the data that arbitrariness is there, but whatever may be the situation, but case such situation if arise it we have to do in this manner and then what is our response surface? Response surface is the beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1, beta 2 x 2, beta 3 x 3 minus this because this is what is negatively uh, negatively influencing. Okay. So, <coughs> this is our response surface. Now, using the response surface you can find out the you can find out the contour plot also keeping money keep uh, uh, varying suppose x 1 x 2 keeping x 3 at a certain level let it be 1 you can see what is the variability uh, how y is varying with reference to change in x 1 and x 2 or other way keeping x 1 at a certain value uh, and you change x 2 x 3 or x 3 at a certain x 2 at a certain value change this you will be getting the response of and, and the contour plots and I told you what the use of contour plot earlier it will be in the same way. Now, here few more thing that uh, standard error of uh, beta uh, we just have 1 4 this is calculated and then beta uh, how do you basically find out the uh, error estimates these are also given and our ultimate aim is here in regression model to see that what is the model fit it is 0.50 it is not a good fit model. Okay. So, what we have seen that using ANOVA you have also you have seen that there are few sources of variation which are contributing. 
but if we consider the overall effect of the uh, of this model is concerned uh, while explaining the variability of y through r through regression using r square you are getting uh, 0.550% explanation which may not be a good one but whatever may be the thing but this hypothesis is rejected here that there is no effect of the parameters uh, it, uh, of, of the controllable factors it is not correct there are some of the controllable factors and their interactions are significant and use this this uh, result carefully and get the benefit like where to set the process finally okay so we have <coughs> used montgomery book i told you and also we have used another site that www.itl.nis.gov uh, just uh, we have gone through the site also and we have read this and got some some benefits out of it thank you very much thanks a lot